Let's let the camera zoom in, girl. It has been... An, uh, this week has been just tons of foolery, but I'm getting over being not feeling well. I, I was sick all weekend. The last time I talked to you guys... Is it zoomed in, y'all? Is it... The last time I talked to you guys, I told y'all my throat was burning. I immediately started drinking ginger tea. Um... I took off yesterday, which was Monday, because I just was not feeling well. I tend to feel better towards the end of the day, and I think a lot of that's because I'm up, and whatever is up here is draining down, you know, whatever is draining. Not really having any sinus issues, it's just, I don't feel good. My throat hurts, and now I'm coughing, so. Um, and the thing, I, I'm just so in a messed up mood because I had so many things I wanted to get done this week that I'm now having to push off to the next week and I don't like to do that. I'm still trying to keep my dentist appointment which is on Thursday which is two days away. <clears throat> but I don't go to the dentist, dentist when I'm sick. So I'm trying to keep the dentist appointment. I literally have been moving this dentist appointment since August. Like I'm not even shitting. Excuse my language but I'm, I'm not even kidding. I've been moving it since August more of my tea this is peppermint tea with ginger I've been short so today I snatched JB up oh y'all it was just one of those I was on the phone with my sister he kept putting his stuffed animal in front of me and I'm, I'm videoing with her so she can't see me and he kept doing it I must have had to stop the video five times threw his little stuffed animal across the room he throws a fit of course he throws a fit he gets up runs around the thing that JB has been doing lately, when he doesn't get his way, he will scream, run, and run into a wall or hit something. So he ran into the wall a little too damn hard and hit his head. <laughs> now it's funny, but then it was annoying. So he's screaming, and my husband's trying to sleep, right? He's hearing all this foolery. And then I fix him his medicine. I put his medicine in juice so he could drink it. I fix his medicine, and he has some vanilla milk, which is sweet as hell. Vanilla milk that I've diluted with regular milk that he's drinking. He doesn't even eat breakfast anymore. He just wants something to drink, right? So, he, um, hold on, y'all. I think this truck is coming by. Excuse the background, y'all. So, he, I told him, you know how it is in the morning, especially kids this age. Put on your shoes. Eat your food. I must have told him half a dozen times to drink his medicine. He wouldn't drink it. He kept trying to drink the milk. I said, you need to drink your medicine. Kept trying to drink the milk. I finally took the milk away. Put the milk up. He's following me trying to get the milk. I pour the milk out. He goes ape shit. Screaming, crying. I wanted to drink the milk. He had like two or, two or three sips left. I'm like, you know what? You didn't get no more milk. I said, you need to go ahead and drink your juice. It has your medicine in it and put on your shoes. Ignores me. <laughs> At this point, I grab him, grab forcefully, grab him, sit his butt down, put his shoes on. He's screaming and crying, screaming and crying. Something. All right, y'all. Let me show you my little fall decor. Let me tell you something. This is a home. I'm not staging my house. You got a lot of YouTubers, a lot, who make sure everything is perfect and in place. This is a home. This is a livable home. Ain't no model home. So yeah, you gonna see JB's prescription, <laughs> his allergy medicine over there. So let me hush up. This is um. Just a little decoration. When I see decoration on sale or clearance, I swoop it up. I love harvest decor more so than Halloween. Again, this is livable. It is what it is. My backdrop is my backdrop. Excuse me. All that is still up for the videos. I'm not recording. <laughs> Try my best to keep these pillows together with JB. Um, decorated the little tray here with assorted pumpkins. I think I got that glass pumpkin from the Goodwill a couple of years ago. I'm gonna hush up talking here and just show y'all what everything looks like. This is that DIY reef I did last year. I wanna make a bigger one to be quite honest. So yes, now these cute little plush thingies, fall decorations, I got from CVS. They had it on clearance. This stuff was 50 cents. Yeah, even this cute little thing. Nothing was over $2. <laughs> <laughs> a little fun. Hey 
Hey y'all, can y'all see me? Not really, girl. Girl, how can we hold this camera? How can we hold this camera? Get it together, sis. Can y'all see me? I always do this shit. Let me try to, there's someone in front of me looking at me. Yeah, it's shadows everywhere. Um, let me wait till I get home. No, there it go. I'm at the Dollar Tree because, girl, let me turn on my fan. So what you call it when you don't really turn on the car? <coughs> at the Dollar Tree because I had to buy some more, I had to buy some more glow sticks. Um, yeah, so, <coughs> all right, you guys, so feeling a lot better but my throat is about to start hurting again i am so over this so over it i'm tired i'm really tired <sighs> i probably would not load up this video until the week of halloween um maybe the weekend so it'll be almost two weeks no hair videos this week I no one of the Prednisone worked really well for me. I know some people have a hard time on prednisone. Excuse the camera while it's jetsing. But I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna talk a lot, but I'm just gonna, you know, give you an update. So no, I feel better. I'm not coughing as much. I didn't cough at all last night. So of course, you know, I'm on 60 milligrams of prednisone. Yeah, so today we're gonna be going to uh, a trick or trunk and I am gonna <laughs> dress up. Girl, I'm gonna, I didn't buy no new, uh, no new Halloween costume. I'm gonna dust off those raggedy ass butterfly wings that I got from last year. Now I did get a headband, so I will be wearing that. So yeah, I'll, I'll put that on and I will beat my face. Um, what are these people doing? So annoying. This, You know what really annoys me are people who use those vapor, like not really cigarettes, but you know, it ain't really cigarettes, but they still bad for you. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, y'all, just, I'm gonna take it easy today. JB has an early day, so he will be home by noon. Um, I took some vitamins this morning, but you know what I was thinking? And I was actually reading up on this, because I'm always looking at natural remedies. And maybe I mentioned this earlier, I don't know, forgive me if I'm repeating myself. There were a couple of people who have videos on switching to a plant-based diet or eating very clean to minimize their um, asthma symptoms. Because if you really look at it, a lot of these diseases are due to inflammation. Excuse me, inflammation. And food can cause inflammation. Um, and so I was like, okay Vivian, what have you been eating over the course of the past two or three weeks? So, you know, I did a Rolodex memory of what I've been eating. I've been eating horrible. I normally don't eat milk, but I've been adding a little bit of cream and God forbid heavy cream in my dishes. I have been drinking some milk. Like I had milk twice the week before. Milk is horrible for people who have asthma because it's mucus. It causes mucus buildup. Has pus in it and evil spirits, girl. Um, I've been eating a lot more wheat, a lot more wheat. And in, in addition to pasta, you know, croissants and shit like that. So overall, my diet has been crappy. The last two or three weeks, it had been it had not been good. You know, eating out every now and then is okay, but what you eat at home really does matter too. Um, and we only eat out once a week. Um, Y'all see that? I'm gonna have to cut that out. So, girl, at least I do that. I reevaluate myself and be like, okay, yeah, the weather changed, but what can you do also? So, I think once I'm off this prednisone, I'm gonna do like a three day fast, and I've been meaning to do a fast. See, it's been in the back of my mind for months now. Something's been nagging, but you need to fast. You need to fast. You need to detox. And so, um, once I'm off the prednisone, I'm going to do a fast. Juice fast, wa water fast. And then after that, I'm going to switch to eating fairly clean. And I used to eat really clean, you guys. At one point in my life, when I was pregnant with JB, and right after I had him, while I was nursing him, I was eating fairly clean. Um, oh, and another thing, I was, I've been drinking a lot. JB's been stressing me the hell out, girl. When I tell you this child is on some whole other bullshit, like yesterday I left him home with my husband. I left him home with my husband one or two hours. I went to go check the mail and I guess the garage door was open. I could hear JB screaming and crying. And I go in, I'm like, what, what's the problem? What's going on? My husband's quiet. I'm like, what's the problem? What's going on? What did, what did he do? He's like, he's, he's acting crazy. He's like, throwing stuff, he's kicking. I said, welcome to my world. Cause look y'all, I believe in that old school method of handling. Mama handles it, but then when it escalates, I'm getting your daddy. Oh yeah, I'm getting your daddy, but my husband has been very lenient on JB. 
and I really do believe that male authority is needed for certain kids at a certain point and I'm like you need I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting frustrated but I have been telling my husband for a, for two weeks now even when he's off he sees JB and he ignores it he's like well he doesn't ignore it he'll say stop it or he'll threaten him excuse me y'all he doesn't really ignore it he'll say stop it or he'll say don't let me get up and I look at him like when are you gonna get up he doesn't do anything I'm the main disciplinary person in my house and I told my husband I said look listen when I was growing up yeah my mama did the main discipline like a lot of households I think I said but God forbid <laughs> if my daddy came in and my daddy found out I was shaking I would stop immediately what I was doing and because he hasn't taken and I'm not saying you guys he should you know go in on a child I mean in taking the child aside and talk to him he's been very lenient so yesterday though child when I got there and so then my husband's like he's like we got to get him some some, some some to to relieve all this energy because you know it doesn't make any sense so with JB, JB has a lot of energy. When he first gets home, he has a lot of energy. When he's home for a while, he has a lot of energy. Like a lot of five-year-olds. So, um, and a lot of the kids at his schools are in extracurricular activities. So my husband's like, what is he signing up for now? I said, nothing. So is that a little bit better? I think so. So I told my husband, nothing. I said, look, first of all, I'm not even thinking about signing him up for something anytime soon with all the holidays and events going on. And plus, I'm the only one doing all of this. My husband works second shift. Yeah, I'm just vitting. I'm sorry. Uh, he don't be home. I will be the one picking up JB from school. So first of all, I'm the only one taking him to school, picking up from school. So now that we have extracurricular activities, I will be taking him there, staying there, going home, doing homework, getting ready for bed. We will do karate next month so that he can get all that. Hi, guys, get all that shit out, right? And I told you, you're going three times out of the week. But basketball doesn't start to January. Well, January will be here like that. And everything costs money. The karate is going to cost us a coin. Coin, excuse me. Well, over $100 a month for karate. And the basketball is, is very good. It's like $120 for six weeks straight. And I'm, and I'm like, at least we could do that. Shit, I'm better. JP better get out my face. That's what he needs to do. My parents didn't have me and all this extra stuff. And we weren't acting crazy. At least not all the time. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're on our way to another Halloween event. It's an outdoor trick or treat at a local church here. I'm another butterfly this year. I dusted off these $4 butterfly. Got me a $2 headband. <laughs> <laughs> this is my makeup. Allergies are still crazy. <clears throat> <coughs> but better I'll be going out there with my tea. Why is it that people are like what do you really have in there? Girl tea! Looks like y'all with my Soul Train line. <laughs> <laughs> oh y'all we are back. Look I didn't vlog there because it was the same thing. I know y'all can't really see me. It was the same oh, thing we did. I feel a lot better, but my voice is still achy. And if you guys notice, JB's voice is, can you talk, baby? Yeah. That raspiness, that's allergies. And you, some of you comment that you love his tone. That's, that's not his normal tone. That raspiness is from allergies. And he's used to it. He's been this way for years. Yeah, he wants you eating all this shit. Why do I look chubby as hell? I look chubby. Hold on, y'all. So I got candy. And I'm eating gummy bears already, so. And that is it. Everything else, we're gonna put up. Look, you guys, I'm trying to keep these talking points at small, small. I feel a lot better now that I had something to drink. Girl, my throat was dry. Aren't these adorable? I changed my table again, y'all. I totally, these came in today from Wayfair. I know a shame. I totally forgot I had purchased these. And look, I try to get everything on clearance. So this entire tablescape. Well, I was gonna say it's less than twenty dollars, but it's not because these right here were twenty dollars by themselves. Aren't these adorable? Isn't this beautiful? Now I'm not into. I don't know how to do all the designs. I just do it real simple. I got these owl. Yeah, we got the. Show owl. the show them show it what it is, baby. So these are owl plates. Mm -hmm. and oh wait, wait. Okay. The for fall and. We got these pumpkins. Yeah, we got some pumpkins. Um, yeah, and these are from the Dollar Tree, really? Walmart, oh Target, Dollar Tree candles. Dollar Tree. I like I like to mix high end stuff with low end. Like these, 
these um napkins were on sale actually for 20 25 dollars they were on clearance at we wayfair three wayfair acorns. these were on clearance these napkin rings yeah our Ooh, our table is very wobbly around. and again we are a working family so yeah backpack is up here girl uh, later on the, <laughs> is that funny but capri sun is over here school, yeah that's, right. that's part of it backdrop still up here ain't no videos going so yes uh jb's like do you have to do this you have to do this every day no baby we're gonna try to keep the table clean at least until november we're gonna wear, guys backdrop no. Okay, you know what, JB? No, I videos. Yeah, all right, all right, y'all. All right, this is it for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and relax. I have not sat down. It is 8:40. We've been home since 7:30. That's a shame. Let Seriously? Me see. Excuse me. Oh, this is. Look, do not ever get a BlackBerry hybrid with an Android platform. This is the crappiest phone ever, and the phone is expensive. It's like $500, and I'm almost done paying on it. Um, so anyway, y'all, this is what my hair looks like. If I look glossy and gold, it's because I'm serving you a gold beat, girl. This is probably going to show up crappy, but I just wanted to put some footage in because I left my camera at home. Um, <clears throat> I'm only going to be at this party for an hour because I don't want to be talking a lot because you can see my voice is still out. So anyway, y'all, I'm about 10 minutes away and the party starts in like three minutes. I'm going to show up right on time and only stay there for an hour. All right, y'all. I was Hey you guys, we are back home. It is, oh, I think it's like 8.30, hold on y'all, let me see what time it is. It's quiet because JB is done, child. He went straight to bed, it's actually 9.20, shit. <laughs> Wonder why he's tired. Um, had a great time at my friend's anniversary party. I was actually there for two hours. Um, met my old manager, got to see her again. I hadn't seen her since I left uh, University of Phoenix or Apollo group and saw a couple of other people I used to work with. So it was good to see them and chat with them, catch up with them. Um, it was nice, really, really nice. She had it catered and had um, alcohol service. You know, they did <clears throat> they did margaritas. I did like, first of all, that margarita was, girl, everyone was saying how strong it was. So I only did half of my margarita and it was dark tequila and I typically don't do dark liquor. So I only did half of it and I asked for like a sip of wine and literally she gave me like one fourth of a cup which is like four tablespoons or something and I didn't even finish that because I didn't want to like I told y'all, especially when it's dark. Um, food was okay, it was... Sorry y'all, looking at Fatal Attraction. It was okay, it was barbecue. Look, I don't have high expectations for catered food out here. I just don't. Um, especially when I saw sliced up jalapenos in the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> macaroni and cheese, girl. And the people next to me were like, oh, this macaroni and cheese is good. I'm like, Lord. Yeah, I don't know about macaroni and cheese in Arizona, but that's besides the point. It was nice to be able to catch up with them. She had a lot of people in her house. But yeah, it was nice. It was nice to be able to catch up with her. Um, and it made me feel good because everyone I saw, they're like, you've lost a lot of weight, y'all. I guess, you know, you can't really see it. Because I think when I saw them, hold on, when I saw them, I was, no, it's right. They're right. I was 25 pounds heavier than I am now. Yeah, so, but I still think at, even at 25 pounds heavier, because they hadn't seen me since I had JV. Yeah, five, six years, six years, actually. Um... Oh, I do not like driving in the dark. I do not like driving in the dark. I can't see, so that was a little rough. Um, Y'all see my hair? Look at this. You see this at the side? So, I did a twist out. This is why, remember that leave-in I did with the shea butter, shea butter leave-in? And I said, I'm not sure if you can use it as a styler because I typically would like a thicker styler, and this is why. This is why I let these these twists sit for two days and it's frizzy as hell. The back is like not defined. So I'm gonna have to reset my hair tomorrow and leave it twisted up for a couple more days. I'm gonna use a meal. Y'all, what the hell is gonna off my eye? And I'm gonna try my darnest to record a hair video. Hey you guys, so it is, sorry y'all, let me back up out of the, sorry y'all, it's not Friday, 
it is actually Wednesday the 31st it's actually Halloween day um <clears throat> I had a good day yesterday let me turn off my car uh this morning I volunteered for like 30 minutes in JB's class and I really didn't even do anything because I bought the baby some donuts and they are so sweet y'all this is the sweetest age those five and six year olds and absolutely sweethearts so it just warmed my heart being around all those little kids it really did so i was in jb's class for about an hour this morning and girl when i woke up this morning though i couldn't find my keys but i'm a type a uh, excuse me yeah i'm a type a i'm a plan a plan b type of person so i always keep an extra set of keys um hell we have two house keys i originally had made three copies i, I lost one <coughs> so I went to go I went to go volunteer at school. I came back. I said, I have to find these damn keys. So I went through it and I was bothering my husband. I know he was sleeping. I'm like, I can't find my keys. Have you seen my keys? He's like, retrack your steps. What did you do after you came home? And so I started thinking about what I did. I said, I had a bunch of stuff in my hand. I was throwing stuff in the trash. I said, the trash. So I'm like, oh God. Put on some latex gloves, went through the trash, and sure enough, halfway through, not halfway, about well, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it was there in the trash can. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, y'all. So y'all voted on some brown sugar salmon with some sweet potatoes. I think I'm going to make my sweet potatoes with a little bit of ginger. I think that'll be really good. And then we're going to have apple crisp for dessert. Yes. Yeah. So, a lot. Got a lot going on today. It is 11 o'clock. Work is kind of slow, which it typically is in the middle of the week. It gets busy. It's busy at my job at least it's busy monday and then um thursday friday that's how it is it's just steady work especially right now since it's um a lot of people are on vacation right now so <clears throat> even christina's on vacation she's kind of working um she's like i want you to i only want you to handle everything that comes in i'm like okay girl i got you so anyway what we're gonna do this morning is y'all know i'm on this planner kick so i really didn't look at the planner i bought a couple of weeks ago and there's not a lot of space and I need to have a planner where I can plan my YouTube videos homeschooling stuff um, and so it has a month view and then it has the week out view but I don't have any extra pages so <clears throat> this morning I did purchase they were really cute because I was thinking about creating them my own I was like I'm gonna do this shit so I did purchase for about nine bucks for both of them goal inserts goal planning inserts um from someone else and then i also purchased youtube planning inserts from another etsy shop but i'm like i don't know if i want to do all that go through all of that printing it through staples and it was just nine bucks i don't know if i want to do that and i know for sure that i'm gonna have to keep printing that stuff every month or if i just want to go ahead and dish up twenty dollars for a planner yeah you guys we got a lot to do this morning so let's just go ahead and get it going girl all right y'all i'm done running my errands tell, tell me why, why. <laughs> I decided to forego the rest of my errands and have me some me time, which is was much needed. I stopped at Panera Bread, had me a salad, y'all saw it. Um, and I'll just run my other errands tomorrow because, girl, I just tried to, well, let me back up. I noticed yesterday or earlier this morning, I'm like, I tried to, I tried to do something and it said no SIM card. I'm like, what do you mean no SIM card? So I tried to make a phone call and it says, no SIM card, no no connection. So, uh, make a U-turn, go to Verizon. Verizon is right here. And I'm like, what do it mean? I get a message that says no SIM card. He said, oh, you're gonna have to get it replaced. And it's free. I said, oh, it's free? He said, yeah, but it's about a 25, 30 minute wait. I said, no, I don't have that time. So, I'm gonna have to come back up here first thing in the morning because I have to have a phone. Um, I'll just come back here first thing in the morning and then run the other errands. I am done for the day. The good thing is that the grocery store is right next to JB School, so I'm just gonna go home, catch up on some work. I can still receive email and text messages on my phone, but no, not no text messages. I can receive emails and stuff, but um, girl, no, no phone calls. So 
it's what it is. So I'll just come up here, like I said, tomorrow. <clears throat> um, I ended up buying some inserts. Let me show y'all. They're mostly Happy Planner, but I also printed out some stuff at Staples that was like seven dollars. The inserts were six. These, these are just blank pages, and this is what I'm going to use to do my goals and stuff because, yeah, I just needed some blank, blank pages really. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm getting short of breath. I need to go take my other pregnancy on when I get home. Yeah, so go see what my husband is doing. He's getting on my nerves, child. When is he not getting on my nerves? Good job, Boo Boo. Come, come look at the table. Boo Boo. You, you, you never saw it like this in a very long time. I bet. You never, ever saw it like this. This is amazing with the ginger, the agave syrup. I put a little bit of ground paprika. This is, this is the bomb.com. I could eat this whole, whole entire pot. Yes. <laughs> so let me show you guys JV's, on, guys. JV's costume all decked Daddy. out. Yeah, we know, baby. Um, this is what it looks like all decked out. Um, look, he, he's worn this now for, at four different events, but this is the most I've ever put on it because I wanted to save the glow sticks for Halloween night. So can't really see it. That's the whole point because it looks like the arcade game. Let me put this down on the ground. So from the back, it's all lit up. Pretty cool, huh? Come this way, baby. This way. This way. Over there. Over here. Can you say trick or treat right here? Right here. Right here. Hey. Hey. Pac-Man. Oh yes. <laughs> Have. We have been for a, quite a while. Thank Aww. you. <laughs> They're playing Harry Potter. Let's. Go, thank you. Let's, let's go. go now. Let's go across the street and then go down this way. Let's go across the street. Okay, we'll go over to the top of the They may not be ready yet. You want to go see if they're ready? Yeah. They may not be ready yet. Oh, oh yes. We we'll just have. Let's see if they're here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, now let's go over to Miss Jane's. So you got to Miss Jane. You ring her door, her. <laughs> look, who, look who it is. Oh my goodness, come in. Hey, <laughs> baby. Yeah, I'm Miss Lawrence. Let's go yeah. down. Oh my God, y'all. This is my neighbors. Oh, that is amazing. I love Thank it. you. <laughs> Look who it is. Yay! Can we see if we can see Thomas? Can we see everyone down here? Alright. Uh, <laughs> hey. Good. Come on, baby. Hey, Hi, how are you? Awesome. <laughs> what are you, Dee? Look, look at the front. A game machine. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can you say trick or treat? Hi. <laughs> Oh, hi. Look who it is. Hey. Ooh, Ooh, scary. Oh, my 
goodness, how awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. yeah, we've got our own yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? I love it. Okay. Let's go down here to the scary one. Come on, come on, JB. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's a cool costume. <laughs> Thank you. Pac-Man Pac game. Pac-Man game. Pac-Man shirt thing. Yeah, hold on. Let's go down here. Yeah. Uh, Pac-Man. Oh. How are you? I'm you good. You doing okay? I'm doing good. Good. It's on the Jolly oh, Rancher yeah. thing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. The Jolly Rancher. Which one? Yeah. Mm.